Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Nottingham Forest Career Mode. Let me say thank you to Cody at the very beginning for joining the Patreon. Thank you very much, Cody. Welcome to the gang. Your name has been added to the end slates at the end of the video, so appreciate that, mate. Cracking on. Another debut today. Only the one. We weren't that busy in January, but we signed someone in a position that we feel that we really needed to sign to give us the best possible end to the season. Marcus Rashford is now the man that leads the line, signed from Leipzig. Wasn't getting first team football. They sold him under valuation. They didn't really need him nor want him at uh, Leipzig. And we've also been able to save 20 million for the rest of the season as well, or for next season to carry over to the next year's budget. Form has been good as of the last episode. So we look to continue that and we may well make our way into the top four today if other results go our way. We start with Wolves away and it's Arsenal at home and Leeds away, although we're expecting an FA Cup game to be drawn imminently. So certainly the plan could change for how we schedule the... Well, not schedule, but how we work the, uh, the videos and what games we play. We probably won't be one month per video moving forward now because we're hoping to go all the way in the FA Cup. You can see the majority of Wolves' players, Wolves's players there. And actually, I think everybody's in the right position. So I may just be able to jump straight in there. I will double check, but I'll start as you see me on the right. And we'll crack on. Drop the video a like if you're enjoying. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and you won't miss out on any more content as we head towards FIFA 23. But for now, that's all from me for the intro. I will see you at... Uh, what is it called? Molyneux. I was going to say the Wolverhampton Wanderer Stadium, which I guess technically is correct, but it's not the official name. Alemdar gets the start in goal. They basically, I didn't have to change anyone from their starting lineup other than Ait Nuri at left wing back in for Johnny. 84 rated Ait Nuri not playing, certainly should be, but you can see how good their team is. Tomato, Matip's 84, Ronald Araujo is 87, Thiago's 85, Jude Bellingham's 87, Lauren Boadu up top is 83, Neto's 84. It's a great team for Wolves, but we are better on paper. And on recent form, better on grass as well. Rashford makes his debut, and hopefully he can mark it with a very good performance. Gay into Thomas Partey. Not much to bring you after 20 minutes. Bit of a slow burner, this one. Henry Pino inside there to Ramsey. Rashford's made the run. The touch is okay, but he is up against a really strong physical backline in Ronald Araujo, Connor Cody, and John Matip. Going to do well to get a goal or two on debut here. Marcus Rashford, if he does, will be very happy, but I'm not necessarily expecting him to start flying here. He doesn't have any boosts to his stats yet because his sharpness isn't yet as high as we want it to be, and he's not quite at full fitness. Adama Traore's effort there floating well over the top of the bar, and that's really the first real action in the game so far. Nearly half an hour in, one effort that wasn't very good. I said it was a slow burner. I wasn't lying, but hopefully... It the slow burner will end with them getting burnt and us being very happy with a three-point all that we're going to get. Mikolenko into the middle. Oh, Ramsey does get there ahead of the defender, but it's over the bar. Up we go. Well up, Tarek. Quite believe he won that header, but he's done brilliantly. Jeremy Pino again will use the overlapping run and Mikolenko actually quickly get a bar back to Jeremy Pino. Didn't think it was going to work there because he delayed with the pass. Oh my God, Jeremy Pino can't shoot, can he? Jesus Christ. He's got a secondary position of striker. Not with finishing like that, pal. And we well, can't quite get to him. Wolves well, decent in the build-up until the final ball. Was really well put together. Semedo is quick. But Jeremy Pino's no slouch. And he's got him on his heels here. Will spin. Oh, I wanted to just float it, but I didn't fancy it. Thomas... Koke can't get past the Raujo. He's been rock solid for them at the back. It's a frustrating first half here where we've really not been able to create anywhere near the calibre of opportunity that we might have liked to, that we have been recently. Wolves very tough to play against here, although occasionally they are forgetting the football. We get that through to Marcus Rashford, who will spin well. We'll look for Jacob Ramsey, but the pass isn't quite good enough. We'll go in at the break at nil-nil and not playing too well at the moment. He is really good, I know Nicely intercepted by Tarek Lamptey, though. And we're away. Now, I've been slowing things down a little bit in that first half, and it evidently wasn't working, so maybe we need to get a little bit quicker, a little bit more aggressive in the way that we counter-attack or lift this looking for Koke. 
in the hope that he can get in behind Ronald Araujo, which he has done. And he stepped away too. And here's Hudson Adoy. It's a good save by Alem Dar in goal. Certainly a downgrade on Jose Sharp, but oh, Jeremy Pino got to that. Can we keep it in with Thomas Partey? We can't. Okay, starting the second half a lot brighter than we ended the first, or even were throughout the entirety of the first half. Four shots so far in this game, one on target. We need to up that stat, and hopefully the goal stat will change too. Thiago Alcantara trying to get there with Thomas, can't. Bellingham has got the run on Koke here. Oh, what a pass. Is Adama Traore onside? He is. Nunez with the interception. Keeper committed to a dive. Adama's outmuscled Jeremy Pino, but he can't keep the ball. And Nunez will switch this. That was dangerous. Very dangerous for a moment there. And thankfully, Nunez was the man in the way at the right time. Ramsey forward there through Koke to Rashford. Jacob Ramsey's arriving. We use Mikalenko because rather evidently Jeremy Pino run offside. But Rashford's in the middle. It's a great delivery. I guess we're Ronald Araujo in there. I can't really loft balls into the box and hope to be winning them. Araujo and Matip. Such a strong physical backline for Wolves. So maybe the way round them is quite literally round them. Come on. Rashford could block. Can we win that? No, the keeper gets there and we fouled him in the process. 25 minutes to go. We're trying here, but no luck so far. Wall's looking for a switch of their own. The Lamptey's up with his head. Hudson Adoy. It's not that sideways to Ramsey. Will burst into that gap. Here is Rashford. Force backwards. Is that a foul? I, mean, I think so, actually, but nothing given. Jung Sam Bin off the bench for them, but again, they're not quite good enough. Adama Traore is the weak link in this team. He's the one player that doesn't look that good. Looking for Mikalenko around the corner. Really well done. I'm trying to get it wide and then work it in on the floor just because they're so strong aerially. But if I can work it around them, then maybe we can get a decent effort. But they're so good defensively, Walls. I think we're just going to have to settle for a point here. They have had me. Oh, we might have to settle for losing. Adama's in behind just as I criticise his overall play. And him being... I isolate him as the weak link in their 11. He very nearly gives them a 1-0 lead to win the game with... Just a few moments to go. Mongola, the fresh legs off the bench. Trying to cause some problems. Hudson Adoy out wide. I'll tuck it back. Ah, but Thiago, intelligent as ever, reads the play and intercepts. Yeah, we're going to have to settle for a point here at best, I think, at Molyneux. Unless they make a mistake in the final few minutes and give me possession in a dangerous area. Which doesn't look like they're going to do. And we're going to have to settle for nothing more than a single point. Semedo with a turn. Adama's there. Can he create something? Needs to be now. Semedo needs to get it in. Adama Traore. Thiago Alcantara. Save to Emmy. A nil-nil draw against Wolves. A game that certainly could have been won. But unfortunately wasn't. Their keeper came out with a couple of good stops. We had a couple efforts that were a little bit wayward. But there wasn't too much doing in that game. Unfortunately it wasn't to be. Not to worry. We'll go again, and actually, we might find out who we've got next in the FA Cup in the run-up to the next fixture against Arsenal. So don't go anywhere just yet, because as the players gave me everything, we couldn't quite get the result here, but we may have an FA Cup game to be played. And that Arsenal game might actually get moved, thinking about it, because that was on the Sunday, wasn't it? Thomas Partey's uh, happy with the games that he's getting. Now, the replays in the FA Cup should be played here on the Tuesday and Wednesday. And I'm hoping that we'll find out who we get in the FA Cup on the run-up to the Arsenal game. Come on, don't leave me hanging. Tournament prize money. Yep. That means that it's been drawn. Thomas Partey is happy. Proud of you, pal. Thanks for coming in. Doing a job. We are still continually just outside the European spots. Eighth now. And the FA Cup has been drawn, but it's away against Stoke next month so it will be arsenal and leeds for the remainder of this episode so let's welcome arsenal next arsenal lining up with a very strong 11 as they always do and they have recruited well in the most recent january window ramsdale calabria new signing saliba john stones new signing malassia erdegaard zubimendi new signing harvey barnes Brennan Johnson, Gabby Jesus and Romelu Lukaku. That's a very good team for Arsenal. And this is going to be a particularly difficult fixture. Try my absolute best to get something out of this. But 
I, if you offered me a point now, I probably would take it, to be honest. This Arsenal team are just as good as that Wolves team. How the Wolves team aren't performing better in the league, I'm really not sure. But this Arsenal team... Ah, Brennan Johnson's in behind here. We'll have to try and utilise Tarek Lamptey's pace to try and close up. Brennan Johnson, who's very, very fast himself, draws a save out of Emi Martinez. That would have been awkward. Brennan Johnson back at the city ground. We do need a win if we're to keep up the streak for the board. But unlikely to get it here, I would have said. Without a little bit of fortune. Oh, it's perfect. Emi Martinez gets there. Arsenal oh, so dangerous, even in just the opening 10 minutes. Go away. I'm not going to get in a physical battle with Romelu Lukaku with Tarek Lamptey, am I? Nunes out wide to Mikolenko. Jeremy Pino on the run, but Calabria intercepts. I thought I could get it around him. No midfield here. And Lukaku's in behind. And he's laying that off. And still no goal for Brennan Johnson. Try as he might. Create brilliantly as they have, Arsenal. No goal yet. The entirety of my central midfield disappeared there. But Rashford could feed that through for Jacob Ramsey. But William Saliba does particularly well indeed to intercept it. Yeah. Arsenal are the real deal in this save as they are in real life this season, it seems. Not looking forward to the rest of this game. We might be doing a lot of defending. Hopefully, though, we can do some counter-attacking too. Rashford, he's on the shoulder. Saliba's too alert to it, though. Out to Harvey Barnes. Supermen do. He's kicked that against Lukaku. That's not necessarily worked for them. That's a lovely ball up to Marcus Rashford. And Ramsey could run in that channel. And he could be found. Is Rashford going to get himself a first assist at the club? No, he's not. Because Jacob Ramsey can't get it across the keeper towards that far corner where we... Really stood the only chance of scoring that goal. Jeremy Pino's gotten in nicely there. We'll use him again. Forward looking for Thomas Partey. Finding Jacob Ramsey. He's outmuscled by Zubamendi. And now we're in trouble again. I can't do anything against Arsenal going one way. In the minute, I've had no real answer for their offensive play either. Defensively, I'm in trouble. It's a brilliant tackle by Thomas Partey though against his former team. And we'll look all the way out wide here for Jeremy Pino. We'll knock it inside for Thomas Partey. Ramsey just offside there, unfortunately. But Jeremy Pino is in. And he'll dart inside the defender. Yeri Pino looking for the goal off Saliba and behind for a corner. Come on then. Let's get Mark Gay on the end of this. It's Yeri Pino that's up. Erdegaard gets it to Brennan Johnson and they've cleared. We'll get it back towards the danger zone though. Eventually as Mark Gay has to adjust his run. Looking for Callum hudson -Odoi. Will he get there by the deflection? He won't. Oh, I can't do anything against Arsenal. Just as we couldn't do anything against Wolves. Both sides with brilliantly strong 11s. Arsenal's even more so. And so far, brilliant performances too. hudson Adoy into Koke. Supporting Thomas Partey. Mikolenko forward, out of his feet. Deliver it into the middle. It's good. But he's picked out only John Stones. We'll try again, shall we? Mm, I've not got the room for the pass. Koke's there. Get it quickly to Rashford. I don't think so. Koke trying to find some space of his own. And he can't do that either. Arsenal, unplayable at the minute. Performing very well so far. Arsenal. Doing the business. Brennan Johnson. Ah, Gabby! Strong hand by Emmy to deny Arsenal a goal to go in front. I can't deal with them, lads. I really can't. If anyone is going to win this game and find a breakthrough, it's going to be them. Ah, it's opened up for Lukaku. It is going to be them. Big Rom. Back in London. Back on the score sheet. Balls. Go Thomas Partey. Jeremy Pino. There's Rashford. Pino's gone again. Back to Rashford. Spin the man. Dart inside. Come on then, Marcus. What have you got? Oh, how's that for a first goal for your new club? Marcus Rashford, welcome to Nottingham. Sorry, Arsenal. You've been spectacular all day. Little bit of space for Marcus Rashford and he's made you pay for that mistake. Saliba gets back into position to cover the run of Jacob Ramsey. And Marcus Rashford says... Thank you very much. Top bins, pal. Holding off Martin Odegaard as well. Gorgeous goal. Up there with one of the best of the season. His first for the club. Yes. And Rashford. Oh, the footwork. I don't quite know how I did it, but it was spectacular. Tarek Lamptey out wide. And I'm going to have many men in the middle. Ah, oh, and I can only find Davide Calabria. Calabria even, unfortunately. But Rashford will get it around the corner there to Jacob Ramsey. He's going to go again, Marcus Rashford. He might have just been offside there. 
Play will continue. Play will not continue. I'm ready and re ready and waiting. Emmy! He's so good, Emmy Martinez. It's been such an improvement on Unai Simon. I can't even begin to tell you. I have so much more confidence in him than I did my previous Spanish manager. Or sp previous Spanish goalkeeper, sorry. Get there, Marcus. Oh, it might fall for Jeremy Pino. It's not going to fall for either of them. And with 10 minutes to go, we're still pushing to try and get that win. I'm going to have to take Rashford off because he's just knackered, bless him. Mongola can come on as well. And... Nice to see Neocarte grow to 83. He had peaked to 82, but he's gone up one. That's a surprise. Uh, we'll go for a little bit more physicality with, Pes with Popescu over Jeremy Pino, but at present, I don't see either side winning this. No, it's hit an arm. Oh, that was the game right there. Gabriel Jesus still. I'm worried about the pass inside. Lukaku, good block by Unai Nunez. It falls back to Lukaku, but at least he's forced backwards. We do not want to lose. Another got another game late on. Done that too many times in this save. Thankfully, not so much recently. Only the Chelsea game springs to mind, but last season, certainly, we lost a number of games late on, and I can't get rid of it. Tarek Lampsey just puts his foot through it, as asked to. But Malassia wins that head of Lukaku. Tries something. It's still going to fall for Arsenal. Callum hudson Roy wins it back. Keep it in play. And Jacob Ramsey into Mangala. Oh, but the touch is so heavy from him. They're going to play Lukaku in round the channel. Gabi Jesus, unbelievably, gets past the defender there. He does find Lukaku. Who... No! I read the turn. Oh, just like Chelsea all over again. The heavy touch from Mangala loses his possession. Gabi Jesus with unbelievable footwork to beat the man. I read the turn from Lukaku. He's always going to go back on his left from there. And somehow he's beaten the man. Oh, he's, oh, he's just not turned in time. Oh, it's so disappointing at the near post as well. But shot power and accuracy into the top corner too much. Arsenal will get the win. Just as we did against Chelsea, we lose in the last minute with the last kick of the game. And there goes my home win streak. I don't know if I've got enough games left in the league season at home to get that streak. If we can reach the semi-finals of the FA Cup and finish top four, though, our managerial rating shouldn't be that badly affected. Still in the squad, Popescu, you literally just came off the bench in that last game, my friend. Because we're 10th, but three points off 6th and five points off 4th. Arsenal, unfortunately, now extended that advantage. That was a game I really sh couldn't really couldn't afford to lose. It's Leeds away next. That's our first defeat in ages since the Manchester City game. Let's bounce back at Ellen Road and bounce back well. Melier in goal for Leeds United. Cody Drama, Joe Worrell, Coza and Target at the back. Rangier and Mailer in the midfield with Rafinha on the right. Somerville on the left this time. Brendan Aronson at Cam and Joe Gelhart up top. On the bench, not much. Really not much. But the, the 11's alright. Obviously our 11 is much stronger. But Nottingham Forest versus Leeds United is a game between two of the biggest clubs in English football. And finally, it is a Premier League fixture once again in real life. And it has been so every season in this save thus far. So hopefully we can get the dub and prove that we're the bigger of the two as things stand right now. We hope. Anyway, Koke looking through that gap, finding Marcus Rashford out wide nicely. hudson Adoy just trying to tuck this back. Can't find the pass though. Nil-nil still. Get there. Well in, Mark. Gay does really well to get to that. Koke, look at the run being made by hudson Adoy. If he's onside, he is in here, and he is. It's a brilliant pass. Oh, and questions asked to the goalkeeper as that flies into the back of the net from Callum hudson Adoy. We lead at Ellen Road. Full transparency, I tried to go across goal. I don't know whether it took a deflection, and that's why it caught the keeper out. Or has Melier just made a mistake? Lovely ball by Koke. Great run by hudson Adoy. I want to see it from behind. Here we go. Did it take a deflection? No. He's just bent away from him, but 
Oh, that's poor. It's poor from Melier. You definitely expect him to save that. Only Callum Hudson had always fifth goal so far this season in the Premier League. Certainly would like more from him. Aronson into Mailer. Thomas Partey can't get there. Koke trying to close down Ren and Aronson now. Somerville. Good block by Mark Gay. Always torn there between closing the man down or marking the squared ball. Either way, you tend to get screwed off regardless of which one you do because if you cover one, they'll do the other. But thankfully, we're able to get in the way of that one and Leeds haven't found an equaliser. Liverpool currently lead the way. Oof. And we just still lead the way in this game too, but we've had to be alert defensively. And Leeds weren't alert defensively for the goal, but Matthew Target's not getting caught out again. Gelhart. Aronson back to Rangier. Looking for, Rangier looking for the rangy pass. Finds it, but... Oh, why would you go to ground? <gasps> I was trying to get him to play... Well, I powered up the, the pass button. The, like, lofted pass button to try and lump it forward towards a teammate rather than just press B and get a clearance out of play. And he's come for a slide tackle. Oh, that had me worried slightly for a moment with the uh, referee well placed to give a penalty. Should... Aronson have been felled there. Rafinha inside to Marla. Gelhart's on his own. I mean, Martinez forced into the save, but play still continues here. Rafinha keeps it in. He's turned brilliantly. Rather greedily goes for shot. Oh, and doesn't even get the corner. Rangier, Aronson. Tarek Lamptey slightly out of position. Koke filling in for him, but now Tarek's gotten his positional capabilities back. He's... Where he should be, Rangier over the top looking for target. Expecting him to turn onto his left and then back. And we've dealt with that very well indeed. Come on then, Callum. You've got support there. Not the best of balls, but we'll lift this with Ramsey looking for Hudson again. Can he get to that first? Oh, brilliantly taken in his stride. Just trying to shake off the attentions of the defender that's with him. Whip a ball and find a teammate. Can Koke get to that first? He's not going to. Nailed the man. Oh, it's a lovely ball through the channel. Gelhart's probably going to have a pace on Nunes. Aronson's had to go backwards, which has saved us for a bit. It opened up again for Aronson, and here he is through the gap. It's 1-1. It's brilliantly done by Leeds. You thought the chance had gone when Aronson went backwards. But it was because he wanted the goal himself, not the assist. Ball back there, and then I tried to marshal with him and cover it off going one way. Ended up going the other. It's a good goal by Leeds. Fair play. Nunes. Forward to Thomas. Into Koke. And out wide to Tarek Lamptey. It's Hudson Adoy. Oh, it's brilliantly worked. You've got to finish that, Jeremy. You have to finish it, mate. There have been some calls in the comment section saying that you're not good enough, Jeremy Pino. I'm not sure whether they might be well founded claims. He has to bury that. No excuse. That's got to go in. 1 1 at half time. It's a poor ball. It's a good interception. And we still might end up conceding a goal. Nunez wins that. You're going to have to win this too, Thomas, please. He did. And well, is that a foul on Ramsey? It's not. Nothing given. Gail Hart played through the gap. He's turned brilliantly. He's got support. It's 2-1 Leeds. I don't think Rafinha could have hit that harder again if he tried. Could he? Thumped into the back of the net. Whistling past the keeper's ear. And straight in. Wham. Pfft. No reactions in the world are ever going to stop that. From 1-0 up. We're 2-1 down, and how important now is that Jeremy Pino miss at the end of the first half? It was big enough then, let alone now, when we've actually conceded another ourselves. Looking for Rashford. Touch takes him past the defender really nicely. Support from Thomas. We'll go wide left. And then I'll try it. I want to get that into Ramsey, but I, I just can't at the minute. They're marshalling him very well. There's Rashford. Callum hudson Oh, let's play it through the gap. And he went straight at the man. Oh, never mind. Just under 60 minutes played. And we are still continually 2-1 down. Cody Drama. Oh, sharp footwork. That's really nice. Get the foot in. Come on, Jeremy. Run, please, pal. Cody Drama is fast. Not fast enough to do anything other than keep up. Rashford through the gap. Marcus Rashford, been saved by Melier. No, Koke misses the ball. Just head it, pal. What's he going with? He's gone for some fancy jumping scissor kick. Just head it into an empty net. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. 20 minutes to go. It's still 2-1 leads. 
Oh, it's well intercepted. Come on, Hudson Adoy's there quickly across. Thomas Partey's not renowned for his goal scoring, but he's got one now, driven hard and low. We are level at 2 2. Thank God for that. Floated over the top. Thomas Partey's first goal of the season said he's not renowned for his goal scoring. Might No, surely he scored more than that one goal for the club now. That might be a corner there, actually. Nunes doing just enough. They're making changes. Do I make changes? Probably, probably. Hudson Noyes had a very good game, but Popescu's fresh legs could really make the difference. I'll bring Salcedo. I'm actually going to bring Monger on for Thomas Partey, though, as you can see, he's tiring. Mikalenko's stamina is not the best, but we'll leave him on for now. With 11 minutes and 5 seconds to go, as Pontus Janssen, is it? No, it'd be Vincent Janssen, the striker, wouldn't it? Vincent Janssen comes on for Joe Gelhart. Jacob Ramsey flicks that away well, and Jeremy Pino gets that round the corner to Rashford. Oh, and Jeremy's still on the run. Mr. Pino, you missed a great chance in the first half. Please don't stop me getting one here. Ramsey, 3-1, Nottingham Forest. Two classic counter-attacking goals. We might just get the three points at Ellen Road. Up the Reds. Gay out wide. I don't know why so many men flew forward. We've got the lead, lads. Now's when we hold on to it, not try and get another. Although... Oh, oh Rashford, no. I tried to play the ball sideways to Koke. And he's kicked it, passing it to the defender in front of him. Let's not have that cost us our victory, shall we? These ones flowing, flooding... Bodies forward now. It's now or never, though. Rafinha needs to get this ball in the box. Sharpish. He's gone backwards. And as such, the referee will blow his whistle. Ill-advised from, Raf Ill from Rafinha. But Forest 3 leads 2. We get the three points to round the episode off. And we will be delighted with them. Had to work hard for it. Unnecessarily hard. But we got the job done. Now, what does that do for our league position as we end today? We'll give the boys... A boost. Morale has been very high all season long, really. Obviously, with the change in fortunes from last year, it's not massively unexpected, but still delighted to finally be putting in the performances that the team warrants. Obviously, in season two, we had a very, very, very good year. But season three was to everything but. But so far this year, we have still been a bit indifferent here and there. But we're still in a good position. Now, obviously, I want to play Stoke because I really want to make sure we do well in the cup. I want to win the FA Cup this year if I can. If not, at least reach the semi-finals. But we want to know what our league position is as we end the episode here. So let's have a quick look at the Premier League. And we are 8th level with two other sides on 39 points. And 6 points continually off the top 4. 3 points off 6th, which is, to this point, our highest league position. Although, we did drop from 3rd to 6th on the final day in Season 2. Don't remind me. Right then. That'll be all for today's episode. Make sure you drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more. The end of this season is going to get pretty intense now, trying to go for broke in the Premier League and the FA Cup. Join me for Stoke City away. We've got Liverpool upcoming as well and a big game away from home against Newcastle. And Brighton at home included in that too. That's all for today though. Cheers lads. I'll see you tomorrow.